G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Final Fantasy XV, and I have a guide for you on how to farm Wind Up Lord Vexus from the new Timed Quest. Now the Timed Quest runs from the 14th of March until the 21st of March, so if you're planning on doing this, make sure you get in and farm this as much as possible, because after that it's going to go away for the foreseeable future, anyway. So this hunt is concerned with uh, breaking the horns of the behemoth and there's a chance that it will drop the wind up Lord Vexus. Now why is that important? The wind up Lord Vexus, if used as a catalyst in spellcrafting, will actually give you 52 casts of a limit break magic, which enables you to do 99,999 damage on spellcast. It also sells for 500,000 gil, so a really, really good item to have. Now for this, I highly recommend the Ragnarok Sword from the Booster Pack Plus, but if you don't have it, anything that does high Warp Strike damage or high Appendage Breakage damage will do. Uh, Hard Edge, Dual Code, uh, even Cerberus, if you're good with that one, will work. So it's, it's quite a dirty method. It's just going to um, involve you smashing his horn. So you want to target his head and repeatedly Warp Strike it or whatever tactic works for you to break that horn as fast as possible. Most of the time you will get the behemoth horn, that is the more common drop, but sometimes you'll get the wind up lord vexus. I did this farm 12 times in a row and of those 12 times I got 5 of the wind up lord vexus. I'm not sure if that is just my chances and the drop rate is incredibly low, but for me my chances were about 40% or so of the time I got the wind up Lord Vexus. So it's just a matter of if you do fail the hunt or you break the horn and you only get a behemoth horn, all you have to do is leave the area and then the hunt will abort and then you head back to the area that I showed before and just reinitiate the hunt and do it again. Uh, it can be a little bit time consuming but it is a better alternative than the Justice Monsters 5 if you don't like playing the pinball game in this game. But also, on that note, if you don't feel like doing this uh, farm and you think it's a bit cheap, then I also have a guide that I'll link in the description below where you can farm the Wind Up Lord Vexus from the Justice Monsters 5 machine in Altisha. So you can see there, I just broke his horn and I got the Wind Up Lord Vexus, just as a, uh, a little bit of proof that it is possible. I originally thought it was from killing the behemoth, but it actually comes from warp striking and breaking his horn. So again, the importance of this is the Wind Up Lord Vexus, which gives you the 52 casts of the Limit Break Magic, which is the most powerful magic in the game, or you can sell it for 500,000 gil. But if you've cleared the quest at least once, money really shouldn't be an issue for you at this point. So as far as efficiency goes, for me to just break the horn, it takes about on generally about two to three minutes and then after I break the horn if I get the behemoth horn or if I get the vexus regardless I just exit the uh, the arena and reinitiate the quest but it's also possible if you can kill the um, the behemoth in about six or seven minutes it's still an efficient way to farm XP so that's an option as well but as far as efficiency goes if you are killing this guy and it's taking you 15, maybe 20 minutes, I don't believe this is the most efficient way to do it. It's possible if you have better luck on the Justice Monsters 5 that that will be a more efficient way to farm these uh, Wind Up Lord Vexus. But this just gives you an alternative to that pinball type game if that's not really your thing. So anyway guys, um, I have to mention that this was mainly the... Uh, the motivation behind making this video was actually because somebody on Facebook, a sub of mine, uh, messaged me. His name was Alfredo Falcon Rosado. I hope I pronounced that right, but he sent me a message saying um, that it actually is from breaking the horn, whereas I originally thought it was a drop from just killing the guy. So thanks very much to you, Alfredo, for uh, clearing that up for me and uh, giving me the uh, inspiration to make this video. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one and it helps you out. Let me know if you have uh, 
the luck with this farm. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you get any comments or suggestions or better ways to do this, I know not everyone has the booster pack plus. So if I could get some of your tips or guides on how to uh, do this without the Ragnarok, then I'd really appreciate that. Just leave that in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Mm -hmm.